Boom shakalaka. Turn your Galaxy Note 4 into an S7 Edge. Hi, this is Max from High on Android.com. Today I'm gonna show you my new S7 Edge uh, ported ROM. This is the latest Dr. Keaton's ROM M4. Uh, this is way better than the previous version that I showed you uh, a few weeks ago. Now you get the full uh, S7 Edge screen features along with the settings menu with all of the panels. Um, you can download more panels. Um, you can customize with your position, how big you want it, with transparency. Uh, this is really, really nice ROM. I really like it. Of course, it does also have Note 5 features, which I really like. You get off-screen memo, just like Note 5. So you get all of the Note 5 features. Um, also, you do have Air Command. So whether you want to turn your Note 4 into Note 5, or an S7 Edge, this ROM does both. It is simply an amazing ROM. All right, performance is excellent on this ROM. Let me go ahead and show you my other screenshot that I took from my last N22. You can see 81,531. That's unheard of for a Note 4. That's the highest score I've ever gotten. So performance is great. Uh, when you're playing games, it is awesome. Now, battery life is also excellent um, that I've tested so far and you should have no problems with it. Let me go ahead and show you the app drawer. Some of the apps it comes with, it does come with ROM tool N4 that I showed you last time. This allows you to customize your battery clock, um, system UI scaling, and also you will get uh, the full S7 Edge launcher, as you can see here. You can change the grid size, uh, 4x4, 4x5, 5x5. Themes, you can get themes just like the latest Galaxy S7 series. This was something missing from last Dr. Keaton's ROM. So now you have a fully ported S7 Edge. I really like it. I've had zero problems so far with it. Also, it does come with Peel Smart Remote, so you can use your phone as a remote, obviously. With this ROM on your Note 4, it essentially makes it better than a real Galaxy S7 Edge or a Note 5, um, just as far as software features. All right, the camera is still a Note 4 camera. All right, looking really good. I got this installed on the International SMN910F. It says SMN920G. This ROM is actually made for SMN920G, but there's a data fix you can install on your SMN910F like I did. And also you should be able to install it on T-Mobile and Canadian along with the custom kernel and the data fix, just like last time. I haven't actually tried it because I've let my friend borrow my T-Mobile Note 4. Um, so if one of you could ins try installing this using my method, I'll, which I'll show you here in a bit, please do let me know so I can update it and so others can know that you can install it easily. All right, um, you get three minute battery. Other than that, also Viper for Android. Very fast ROM, really like it. You know, highly recommend it. This is better than the stock Marshmallow on the Note 4, or this is better than S7 Edge or Note 5, just because you get extra features not found on those phones. Also, always on display doesn't work yet for some reason, so that's the only thing that's kind of holding me back. And also you got some extra stuff in your power menu, torch, emergency mode, which is nice. Let me go ahead and show you how to install it. Go ahead and power off your device. All right, once powered off, it's gonna be volume up, center home and power to get into Torp Recovery. All right, once in recovery, you're gonna do a wipe, go to advanced wipe, wipe format system, swipe to wipe, all right? That's pretty much it for wipe. You can also do another factory reset if you want. That will erase everything on your phone, except for contents of your internal storage, obviously. Go to install for SMN910G. Um, all you have to do is install the actual ROM for SMN910F. Go ahead and install the ROM. After installing the ROM, install the M4 fix. And that's pretty much it and reboot. You, you should be good to go. Everything working out of the box. If you're using T-Mobile or Canadian Note 4, um, go ahead and install the ROM, and then go ahead and install the vitamin kernel, and then go ahead and install the data fix. Now that should work. For some reason it doesn't work, go ahead and try reinstalling the ROM. Install the ROM just like an SMN910F. Install the ROM and the M4 fix. One of those two options should make the ROM uh, work really well. 
know, at the worst, it will boot. It's just a matter of getting the data working. So that's pretty much it. Um, definitely check it out. Now you can have a fully ported ROM on your Note 4 and convert your Note 4 better than a Note 5, better than an S7 Edge, which is really, really awesome. So have a great day, folks. If you have a Note 4 that's supported, um, check this out and do let me know what you think. And as always, stay on Android. Click here to subscribe.